This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. It's now time for our entertainment segment, which means we're talking movies. And today we have Kent filling in for Scott, and we're talking uh, Jobs with yep. Ashton Kutcher, which is about Steve Jobs and yep. Apple. So let's dive in. <laughs> well, you know, everyone kind of knows that Steve Jobs has been probably one of the most influential minds in terms of technology mm -hmm. nowadays. You know, you see his influence in so many products, whether it be phones, tablets, even computers. You know, so what this movie kind of entails is describing his life from his college days in the mid-70s all the way up until right before his his sort of peak um, in the mid-90s when he started those Macintosh computers. So I came into this movie with a little bit of hesitation. I wasn't so sure that casting Ashton Kutcher in that role was a perfect role for him. Mm -hmm. And I hate to say it, but I was a little validated in my, in my thoughts on it because I don't think Ashton Kutcher did that good of a job okay portraying Steve Jobs. Uh -huh. you know, no pun do intended. You, do you you feel like because when you when you see Ashton Kutcher you you automatically think of that 70s show or you think of yeah. all the other like, yeah, like that quirky, 70s show, yeah. like kind of like an airhead. A comedic actor, you know, yeah. and he he's he's tried to do the dramatic role in the past. I think he did the butterfly effect yeah. before. And you know, it it, it kind of works for him, but it's hard for people to kind of take him seriously considering the roles that he's played in the past. Now, do you think they picked him because I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, Ashton Kutcher." And then they put you know, a side picture of Ashton Kutcher as mm -hmm. Steve Jobs and a picture of Steve Jobs, and they yeah. were like literally like twins. They look, they look very similar, and they actually do that at the end. During the end credits, mm -hmm. they actually have uh, real life pictures and then their movie star counterparts okay. side by side. And they, the movie does a great job okay. in actually capturing the likeness of every single real life counterpart. But in terms of what the movie was kind of about, in terms of the writing, the dialogue, the acting, the acting was okay in the supporting roles, but for the main role of Steve Jobs, you could tell Ashton Kutcher did his job in researching. like actually researching. So he actually underwent the fruitarian diet. He lost 15, 20 pounds for the role. Um, he even has all of his mannerisms down, Steve Jobs' mannerisms, obviously. Um, but it just it got to a point where I couldn't take him seriously as mm. as Steve Jobs. Like it, you can only you can only do mannerisms so right. far, and it just didn't carry over too well on the screen. And you know, during the movie, he just they they kind of portray Steve Jobs as this mega jerk. You know, and in real life, he may have been, and you know, we've heard we've heard stories of that as well. But it makes you it makes it hard for you to actually root. For him uh, throughout his, the movie and his success. Yeah, it's it's an amazing story. Okay, he persevered through so much, but it's just hard to root for the guy throughout okay. the movie because he's he just dislodges himself from everyone close to him. All right. So, so if you do go see this movie, maybe don't go with high expectations or go in there knowing that it is. Ashton yeah, Kutcher. you know, it's it does a great job in detailing Steve Jobs' story and his okay. rise to okay. fame. But in terms of the actual entertainment level of the movie, I was a little let down. All right. So uh, is this worth spending your money going to the theater or waiting for it for DVD? I would wait for the DVD more than anything. Okay. I probably wouldn't watch in theaters again or right. even on DVD. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. Thanks for that, Kit. <laughs> no problem. And we'll be right back. 